Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I am going to show you some Horns basketball plays that will get your post players a lot more points. So hello everyone, my name is Alan. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I'm going to show you some really great Horns basketball plays. Anyways, the Horns basketball offense works great against both the zone and man-to-man -man defense. So yeah, let's just get down to the clipboard and let's check out these basketball plays. So first in this basketball play, this is a very nice and simple play. First, we're going to have player four setting a screen up for player one. Player one is going to go out to this side using the screen. And then player four is going to roll towards the basket. Now when that happens, when player one and four you do a screen and roll, now player one could shoot the ball. He could also pass to player four for the layup or... When this happens, player 5 could either cut across the key, across the free throw line, or he has also the option to screen for player 2 at the same time, with player 2 going to the mid-range or 3-point area, where he may be open for a 3-point shot or a mid-range shot as well. Now in this second basketball play, we're going to have player 4 setting a screen across for player 5, and then when player 5 gets screened, player 5 is going to then use that screen and cut towards the basket. Player 1 is going to dribble to this side of the court. And he's going to try and hit up player 5 for that layup. Now what could also happen as well, player 3 could pop up to the free throw line extended. Player 1 could pass to player 3 who could also then pass to player 5 who's cutting towards the basket. Now in this third basketball play, we're going to have player 5 and player 4 both screening for players 2 and 3. Now when they screen for those players, players 2 and 3 are going to be popping up to the free throw line extended. And then players 4 and 5 are going to be rolling towards the basket. Now player 1 could pass to the, the wings, the players 3 and player 4 for the easy pass down to player 5 or 4 for the layup or player 1 could just hit them himself for the layup too so that would be multiple different options that he could run now another play that can happen is player 4 could go and set a screen for player 2 who's going to go up and to about the free throw line extended and player 1 is going to pass player 2 the ball now player 4 is going to also be rolling after that screen towards the basket. Player 2 could then pass the ball to player 4. Or then player 5 could screen player 1 who's going to cut back door towards the rim where player 2 could pass him the, the sh either for a layup or an alley-oop. And if neither of those are open, player 5 could pop up top if he's a 3-point shooter and he could take that 3-point shot. Now for our fifth basketball play, we're going to have player 4 setting a screen for player 1. Player 5 is then going to cut across the key down to the opposite low post. Player 1 is going to use that screen. Player 4 is going to pop. Player 4 may be open for a 3 point shot. Or player 5 could be the low post player. So that now when player 5 gets that ball, if he's being defended really heavily, player 3 could go and set a screen for player 4 who's going to cut towards the rim where player 5 could just bounce pass over to player 4 for the easy layup. Now a quick simple bonus play. This is our sixth basketball play I'm going to show you. Player 5 is going to pop out to the three point line where player 1 is going to pass him the ball. Player 4 is going to set a screen for player 1. Player 1 is going to cut towards the rim. He may be open but this is going to be mostly contingent on player 5. So player 5 is going to use player 2 as a screen and he's going to go and drive towards the rim for hopefully an easy layup. If not, player 2 should be cutting down the middle of the key, rolling off of that screen so that player 5 may be able to hit him up for the nice easy mid-range shot or layup. Anyways, I hope that these plays will help you as a coach, as a team, and as a player. If they do, let us know in the comments below. And it's always great to allow your centers to score. It's always great to have them touch the ball. If they are more involved in the game, you're going to get more rebounds from them, more points from them, more, more assists from them. 
overall a lot better and easier game to win. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. I do post new videos every single day, so I'll see you guys again next time, which is tomorrow, for another daily basketball video. So hello everyone, I do have a very fun channel that I have a ton of fun with. It's called The Armchair Athlete. The link is in the description below. But anyways, I do racing video games, just video games in general, mostly sports oriented, as well as having a Mustang in real life. And we test, I'm gonna be testing that out against the video game Mustangs and everything like that. It's a ton of fun, so go check it out. I also do tech reviews on that channel as well. It's The Armchair Athlete, go check it out. The the link is in the description. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe, or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also, the opposite direction, or the opposite side, is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.